Today we'll cover the video on immune system response and exercise. Exercise immunology is a relatively new field in the study of immune system of people, mainly associated with uh, some kind of physical training. This video will study the impact of exercise on people who do regular endurance training at various levels, mainly easy, moderate or intense. We will also study the impact of single episode of exercise on our human immune system and how it behaves. It is imperative that we understand the relationship in order to be prepared for the effects and try and find out ways in which the same can be mitigated. We are aware that the human immune system is extremely complex, hence I restrict myself to only its aspect related to the exercise and training. Our immune system works 24-7 in order to fight with several pathogens and infectious agents that could make us potentially ill. Viruses, bacteria, parasites, fungi, toxins, pollutions, etc. are all attacking us all the time. Despite the fact that our immune system is always alert, we fall sick. Various factors change the behavior and effectiveness of our immune system. As mentioned earlier, we will restrict ourselves to the exercise only. There are various ways in which immune system is classified and studied. We will study under the system where there is two main branches of our immune system, namely innate immunity and adaptive immunity. Although exercise will affect them both, however, broad changes happen only in the adaptive immunity because of the exercise. Hence, we will discuss adaptive immunity and its impacts more. Innate immunity is non-specific to any particular kind of pathogens or infectious agents. It is more general in nature and the response is immediate and quick. It is important to note that it has no immunology memory and hence its behavior is same even if some infectious occurs again and again. Adaptive immunity on the other hand is more specific to, the, to an uh, antigen specific as of the flu virus or in these days coronavirus. It has a delay in response and hence takes a longer time for exposure to response. It has an excellent immunology memory. Once exposure happens, it makes specific immune cells which are designed to fight and neutralize a specific virus. Further, we can divide the adaptive immunity into two components, the humoral component and the cellular component. The humoral arm makes antibodies which circulate in the blood, fights and neutralizes all agents which can make us ill. The cellular arm, on the other hand, is responsible to make T cells and B cells that are the kill cells which uh, are able to kill those cells which have already got affected because of our illness. Response to exercise hence affect the ability of both the making of antibodies as well as the killer T cells. A single session of exercise will impact immunity depending on the intensity of the exercise and training. It is important to note that a single moderate ex ex episode of training or exercise has only a marginal effect on our immunity. On the other hand, heavy and intense exercise can trans, uh, transiently suppress our immune system for up to three hours or more post-exercise. A study was uh, conducted in which uh, well-trained and physically fit cyclists were asked to do intense training for two hours. They were told to function at 75% of the VO2 max. It was no noticed that their adaptive immunity was transiently suppressed for over an hour. In another study done on marathon runners, a single run specifically suppressed production of T cells up to three hours after they crossed the finish line. The transient su su suppression came back to normal after about six hours. Now let's uh, study about the open uh, window theory. The suppression of both the humoral and the cellular immune system soon after the exercise is completed has given rise to open window theory. Now, basically, this theory states that after an intense exercise period, immune system is suppressed transiently. This gives opportunity to various viruses, bacteria, etc. to get a foothold within a person and infect them. 
it appeared that the athlete were already exposed to the pathogens before training but the immune system was fighting well however as soon as the person enters the open window period the infection wins this shows that susceptibility of various type of infections is at the peak post exercise recovery period the possible explanation to the suppression of immune system due to elevation of several stress hormones these include the adrenal hormones or the cortisol the immunosuppressants such as epinephrine or norepinephrine both have the job of suppressing the immune system besides this rise in internal body temperature also plays an important role in immunosuppression now the question which comes to our mind is that these transient suppressions of immune system translate into an increasing susceptibility to infection for longer period or not unfortunately the answer to this question is yes if we notice at various studies that it is uh, in the preparation phase of various competitions such as marathons ironman or tour de france the incidence of infections were up to 5 times higher some people ask if they should exercise when they are sick or there is uh, or they have an infection or not such as virus or something there is a common belief that workout will make our bodies ex excrete toxins and will prepare them better to fight bacteria uh, bacteria and viruses this is absolutely false a single episode of exercise may suppress immune system for many hours thus giving an open window to the infecting agents to get a foothold inside our body and make it worse if it is already infected the general rule is rest if the symptoms are below the neck however there are there have been many studies showing that in case of moderate to light exercise regularly our immune system improves while moderate training can improve immunity intense sessions will have an opposite effect high frequency of intense workouts will chronically suppress our immune function making us more vulnerable to infections in fact the frequency of infections are very common in distance athletes to understand why moderate intensity improves our immune function is related to the balance between stress and regular moderate exercise in an experiment when a sedentary animal was exposed to stresses their immune response became sluggish however endurance trained animals exposed to exact same stresses show reduced or impaired immunity functions basically moderate exercise provide us the resilience for life time stresses suppression this leads to balance between boosting immunity due to resilience from life related stresses and suppressants released during the moderate episode of exercises the equation moves in favor of improving immunity this slowly improves the baseline immune, immune function lower and lowering the risk of infection so the summary of the video is that if we are if we do moderate exercises in the terms of strength or endurance training we will be able to improve the baseline of our immune system and hence our immunity will improve however if we are doing less or we are doing extremely intense our immune system will not respond as efficiently as if we would have done, be doing the moderate i hope i am able to explain in this video why and how much of exercise a regular person should be doing if you have any questions please do ask i'll try my level best to answer them thank you